What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the products I have literally just oh, fallen head over heels for in the month of November. So if you guys want to see what I have been loving, then just keep watching. Okay, first of all, I just want to point out this makeup look. I totally did it with just this sponge and I'm like so impressed by it. Like I was going to completely redo my makeup for this video because I'm filming this right after I filmed that one, but it looks so good that I'm just like, there's no point. So if you guys like the look I did right now, definitely go and check out that video. I'm going to suggest it up above for you guys and link it down below as well. Like I want to put this in this favorites video, but I've only used it once ever and I feel like I should hold off but it's still amazing <laughs> so I have makeup tools and I have makeup so we're gonna be starting off with the tools so the very first couple of things I guess I wanted to include are these brushes now I got this cute little set in my boxycharm it is available on luxie.com this it's like a boxycharm limited edition set now I have the rose gold version of these I've had them for a long time I absolutely love them but I find myself reaching for these more than the rose gold ones I don't know if there's a quality difference I think I just like the look of these a lot better. They're fun. They're sparkly. So I've been literally reaching for these like every video. I think every tutorial since I've got these, I've used these. But I just love how mini they are. They're really good for anyone who has like really hooded eyes or anyone who wants a little more control over their brushes. It's kind of hard to be precise with like the bigger fluffier brushes, but these get you detailed results. Like it is so amazing. I see such a difference when I use these. So if you guys are interested in seeing these guys in action, then I'm going to link my boxing charm video right down below and suggest it up above for you guys so you guys can go watch that if you'd like and speaking of brushes i also picked this up for my last sephora haul oh my gosh you guys this is amazing this is the sephora mini color switch and what this does is you basically open it up and it has like this weird spongy it almost reminds me of like a kitchen sponge kind of thing let's say if you dip this in like a bright red color and you apply it to your eyes but then you want to use the same brush for like a vibrant blue but you don't want to mix the red and the blue colors all you have to do is just wipe it through here and then you're able to dip into the blue and it comes out blue and not like a weird purpley mix i find this so incredibly helpful because i am someone who does not have multiples of the same brush i think this was 14 dollars, which is a lot cheaper than going and repurchasing like a bunch of the brushes that you love so I think this is just a really awesome way quickly just get the excess eyeshadow off the brushes and then dip right back on into the palette so the next thing I have is this right here this is the BKR Paris water balm now I got this in I want to say my ipsy a couple months ago and I have just fallen in love with it I literally saved it just for winter because it was so good and I wanted to use it in the winter I tend to grab this more than my chapstick more than my agave lip mask as well but I think it's so cute it's a little travel size I believe they actually sell this same size on bkr.com and I believe it's ten dollars which is a little pricey for a lip balm but this is like a miracle lip balm it doesn't like dry out your lips after the product kind of wears off. It keeps your lips nice and hydrated so you don't have to like reapply, reapply, reapply. I find that I apply this like once in the morning and then like that's it. I have my hydration for the day. I definitely want to be trying to get a couple of gifts and give these to people because I've Oh my gosh, I want to give the gift of beautiful lip hydration to people. <laughs> and since we're on the lips, I thought I would mention two other lip products that I've been kind of obsessed with. We're going to start off with the Fenty Beauty one. I also got this in my Sephora sale try on haul. It is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. This is the original shade. I definitely want to pick up the Milk Balm one. I feel like I don't use this when I'm doing like crazy gorgeous like glammed up looks but I do grab this just on like an everyday basis like if I'm running out the door and if I just want to like put a little oomph in my look I will literally grab this put it on and I know it looks great it is a very very sheer kind of color but oh my gosh look at that it has these beautiful gold little glittery specks in it they're very very fine so it doesn't look unprofessional or anything I feel like this is one of those lip glosses you could totally wear to work one thing I will say about this is I don't think it lasts like a super long time but it is really really comfortable on the lips and honestly it is a lip gloss so it's something that I'm not scared to just reapply like anywhere like I don't need a mirror for it plus I love the smell and the taste of it it's seriously so ooh, it's always a little goopy but oh my gosh it smells so good it tastes so good it's like a fruity very very fruity gloss kind of like it reminds me of childhood for some reason I don't know but I find myself reaching for this a lot when I'm just out and about running errands and want to look a little 
amped up, you know? You know what I mean? And then the last lip product I have is this right here. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe, and this is in the shade Enchanting. There are multiple shades of this, and it is supposed to be like a metallic lip gloss. I personally don't see it as metallic at all. I see it as just something that kind of just changes the texture of your lip product. And at first I did not like it like whatsoever. I was just like, ew. But when I apply this over other lip products, I am just like, blown away. I actually have it on right now. I used it over the Physicians Formula the Healthy Lip in the shade All Natural Nude. Now this is a very, very matte lip product. However, putting this over it, it just gives a beautiful finish to your lips. I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you guys on my hand kind of how this works. So first, let me just show you what it looks like by itself right here. So as you can see, it's like a very white kind of almost pink undertones to it. It's like a very orange pink undertone. So that's that. And then this is the Healthy Lip by itself in the shade All Natural Nude. Like that. And it's going to dry down. Now I want to show you guys what they look like together. So I'm going to do another swatch and just going to let that dry for like a second. And then we're going to put the Huda strobe over it. Now I personally don't like it when my applicator gets full of color. So I just take my finger and you only need a little, little bit. Take some on your finger and then kind of just dab it and rub it on there. And it kind of just beautifully mixes with it and that's what you kind of get it goes from that super matte color and this super shiny color and it mixes to this beautiful i feel like it's like a very almost glossy satiny finish and i uh i just can't get over it it just makes the finish look so beautiful so yes that is why i love it and i feel like if you're someone who really likes a color of a matte lipstick but you're not a big fan of the matte lips like just apply this over it and it makes like the dryness of the matte lipsticks like feel nice and creamy and super super comfortable okay so moving on from the lip products i'm gonna go into this right here which i also got in my sephora haul it is one of Fenty Beauty's Kilowatt Highlighter Duos, and I got mine in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I've literally been using this, like, every single day. It is just one of those go-to highlighters. I love how there's, like, a less shimmery side, so if you want to tone it down, you totally can. Or you can layer this on top, or even use it by itself for a more, like, bam, like, in-your-face kind of highlight. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these swatches. I feel like they don't swatch very well, but this is the shade Lightning Dust right here. It's just a really nice, very subtle glow shade. I'm not sure if you can see this. And then I'm going to go into Fire Crystal, which is a more like bub I am in your face kind of shade. It's so stunning. Oh my gosh. If you want to try out Fenty's highlighters, highly highly recommend okay and the next thing i have been literally i feel like i've mentioned this in a favorites video before but i've been really really back into it this month this is the cover effects enhancer drops and this is in the shade celestial i have been reaching for this like pretty much every time i want to go for like a more amped up glam look i do have it on right now underneath like my foundation it has a very just luminous glow i did put a highlighter over it but like that luminosity there that is from this it is oh my gosh it is so stunning I'll quickly swatch it for you guys because i want you guys to see how beautiful this looks so there's the dot little bit goes such a long way and oh my gosh it is just so beautiful like now you could totally tone it down like less is definitely more with this product like i only put like a little bit of dot and it went that far so you only need like a little speck and just you know gently like blend it in with the beauty blender or your finger even lately i've just been feeling like my look is just so incomplete without this so yeah I've been reaching for it a lot. Okay, and then the last thing I have for my favorites this month is this. This is the Smashbox Step-by-Step -Step Contour Palette. I feel like I've literally used this in every tutorial since I got it from my Sephora haul. Yes, the majority of these products are from my Sephora haul, but I've just fallen so in love with them. So if you guys want to see my first impressions, again, go check out that video. But I just love this so much. As you can see, it is very well loved right now. And I love how it comes with this mirror. I still have yet to take the little sheet off. I'm one of those people who just leaves it on until it starts peeling up, then I <laughs> peel it off. 
I love Smashbox contours and blushes. I feel like their formulas are so easy to blend out. I feel like this is perfect for beginners, especially the mini size so you can travel with it. And it's super, super easy and laid out for beginners as well. So you got the contour, you got the bronzer, and then you got the highlight. Literally use it every time I put contour on. Like this is my go-to, even over my Smashbox Cali contour palette. I think it's just because this one's minier and a little easier to use than like the big palette, but I still love my Cali contour palette, especially with the blush. I know they did have this one with blushes so I think I definitely want to pick that one up I haven't had the chance to yet but that is on my wish list so that is everything that I have been loving for the month of November if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it really really does help support my channel and question of the video what have you guys been loving for the month of November is there a product you feel like you've just picked up this month more than like any other product please let me know down in the comments below and if you are new to my channel hi I'm Amelia <laughs> If you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!